quick. Graph y equals the cosine of the quantity x minus pi over 4 by hand two different ways. This is part of the family of functions series. You will need paper and a straight edge, or you can download this PDF and print it. Press pause as needed any time during this video. Graph y equals the cosine of the quantity x minus pi over 4. The first way is with what we call the cosine dance. We need to recall what the graph of cosine looks like and the five key points of interest, which we will circle here. These key points and all points on the cosine are affected by the parameters in the equation. In this case, there is just one parameter, minus 4 for, subtracted from x inside the argument of the function. This shifts each point horizontally to the right pi over 4 units. The initial point on the cosine is at 0, 1, but we need to shift to the right pi over 4 units, and that will shift to the right to pi over 4, comma 1. So let's plot that. At the end of the period, it's 2 pi comma 1, but that's shifted to the right to 9 pi over 4, 1, right there. Halfway between those is a minimum at pi negative 1, but again, we're shifting that pi another pi over 4, so that'll be at 5 pi over 4, negative 1. Halfway between those is a point of inflection at pi over 2, 0, but we're shifting that pi over 2 another quarter of a pi to 3 quarters pi, comma, 0. And halfway between this min and then max is another point of inflection, and it'll be shifted to the right another quarter pi to 7 pi over 4, comma, 0. Pause is needed. So let's go ahead and connect the points as a cosine wave. Half of a frown concave down, a whole smile, and half of a frown. This is one period of the cosine wave. Let's duplicate that wave in the negative direction. How we'll do that is go back a period from this starting point right here, go back pi from there, which will be at um, negative 7 pi over 4 comma 1 back pi from this point of inflection to negative 5 pi over 4 is 0. This minimum goes back to negative 3 quarters pi, negative 1. And this goes back to negative pi over 4, comma 0. Let's go ahead and connect that as a, a cosine wave. Concave down, concave up, concave down. Comparing it to the parent function, we see it's kind of out of phase here. That's where we get that term phase shift. The blue curve is shifted to the right pi over 4 to obtain the green curve. So blue to green is five, pi over 4 to the right. Not just these points, but all points are shifted to the right pi over 4 units. We usually say that the green curve has a phase shift of five, of, I'm sorry, of pi over four to the right. Pause is needed. Second way using a table. So we'll start off with these values along the axes. Please complete the table. Pause is needed. You should just know these values along the axes. We need to create a second table for our graph. And we look at the parameters, and the minus pi over 4 inside the parentheses means to add pi over 4 to each x value to shift it to the right. We need to add pi over 4 to shift it to the right. Nothing's happening to the y values, so the y values will remain the same. So we'll start by adding pi over 4 to 0 and getting pi over 4, keeping the y-coordinate the same, 
we'll plot over pi over 4 up 1. Adding pi over 4 to pi over 2, that would be 3 pi over 4. And if you're not sure how that's done, you can pause to see my arithmetic here. The y coordinate stays the same at 0. So 3 fourths pi comma 0. Adding pi over 4 to pi is 5 pi over 4 comma negative 1. Add pi over 4 to 3 pi over 2. That's like 6 fourths plus 1 fourth is 7 pi over 4 comma 0. Plot that. And finally 2 pi add a quarter to that and we get 2 and a quarter pi which is really 9 pi over 4 comma 1. Connect those points as a cosine wave. Frown, smile, frown half of a frown anyway. This is one period of the wave. Let's plot another one to the left. So we'll start at the initial point and go back pi. Next point, we'll, I'm sorry, go back a period, 2 pi. Sorry about that. Back a period, 2 pi. Again, back a period, 2 pi. Back a period, 2 pi. Connect the points again as a cosine wave. Concave down, concave up, concave down. And so this is what the graph looks like, continuing to wave, and we compare that to the blue parent function. We call again, this is a phase shift to the right pi over 4 instead of a horizontal shift. When we do sines and cosine, we call it a phase shift. Now you try one, graph y equals the cosine of the quantity x plus pi over 3. Use either method or both for the practice. You should mark off every pi over 3 along the x-axis so that this plots carefully. Pause as needed. And so our graph is in green here. Okay, um, you can see there's our phase shift left pi over 3 from blue to green going back pi over 3. 